Hello and welcome to Milo and Marcus Garage. Today we finally got some new parts. As you can see, we've got a new battery, and we got some paint, and the weather has improved. It's not raining that much, and it's actually partially sunny, so it's not absolutely awful, which is nice. And now that the new battery is installed, we will probably try to um, to turn on the bike, make it run a bit, perhaps drive it a bit. Also we've got the new neutral switch sensor which we will be installing as well. So let's get straight into it. Ladies and gents, as you can hear the bike is running again which is absolutely fantastic. And as you can see, Marcus is getting the car down and uh, thus we will go for a wee drive with it. Um, this is the first time it has been driven since uh, autumn... No, since summer 2019. So it's been a, it's been a while, definitely. So, um, Let's do that, and also sorry for the wind, I can't really do anything with that at the moment. It's windy, and yeah, let's go! Alrighty, so as you can see, we did take it for a wee spin, and basically the bike is running great, but the engine has... Oh, well, well there is no buts. The engine has no problems whatsoever, although it's a bit... It's it's not really running 100%, but that's just due to, you know, it was sitting in a garage for a year, not running without proper oil or anything, but now it's good. Um, so what we need to do now is install the neutral switch sensor, which Marcus is, he's got it in his hand now, and also uh, oil up the chain because it's... Uh, making a squeak sounds because not all that so let's do it so we've been uh, working for a while now installing the neutral switch Marcus do the honors Woo! as you can see the green light is is there and now switch gears please and now it's off that means the bike will start now, or should start now, if I do this. High five! Woo! Nice! Yep, so, um, neutral switch working. That is something that we critically needed to have to, you know, properly drive the bike, which is very nice. So next up we'll be oiling the chain, uh, since it hasn't been really oiled in a while we're gonna start off with a very thin oil, probably something like WD-40 or something, and then later on move to some thicker grease since it is uh, still theoretically winter time slash early spring time and for that kind of weather you should use some thicker grease to avoid getting, uh, you know, just getting the oil washed away. So we're going to do that now. Let's go. So as you can see, we start from the front sprocket. Indeed. Try not to get on the paint, which is important for our case. So he's just putting a graceful amount of WD-40 on the chain, which should make it go smooth. And this is something you really should do at least once a month to your bike to keep it, you know, properly lubed. And now onto the top part of the chain. I would usually recommend either using uh, chain grease, which is good for summertime, springtime just generally warm times and then using some thicker grease as in like multiple purpose grease you know just thick stuff 
for uh, autumn and winter time if you are driving around at that time and there we go chain is looped now it's just a matter of running it a bit to make the you know to make all the fittings absorb that oil into them um, so yeah right now we're gonna probably um, drive around a bit because that's what we should do once you oil a chain just drive um, so yeah pretty nice so let's go for a wee, wee driving trip eh? make the make the grease work yeah let's go yeah Ja, bak lys funker også. And off he goes. Wonderful. It seems that we did our job pretty well. Which is good. Because the bike's running now and it's driving. We are uh, waiting for our brand new uh, front brake lever and uh, master cylinder because our old one was leaking and ended up destroying a bit of our paint, so we'll have to fix it a bit. Uh, but in general, it's, um, it's pretty well. Everything is going pretty well. So now, as you can see, the weather is slowly improving. Uh, it did indeed snow for a while, but now it's all gone, it's around 10 degrees Celsius and uh, basically we're gonna wait about one to two weeks and then just um, start painting it. As you can see, or you actually probably can't see, but Marcus is slowly making it back here. Uh, so let's wait for him to come back. If he ever comes back, maybe he crashes. I hope not. But we'll be bad for business. There we go. Our Dyke Dark Knight is coming back. So as you can see and as you can hear, the bike is running pretty well. It's just a matter of you know letting it everything soak properly in and uh, and paint it. So um, that's good, I guess. I think. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, everything is going surprisingly well. We're not dealing with any engine issues, the carburetors are working, oh, the carburetor is working as it is supposed to, and uh, basically the only thing remaining is just paint, and that's it. Fix the sensor, and as you can see it's working pretty, pretty well. So yeah, good stuff, really good stuff. I'll bring you back when we are finished having fun with, uh, with our finally working bike. Yep, they are working as well. Welcome back. So, right now we are going to paint the exhaust system of Marcus's uh, Derby, the motocross, uh, and prepare it for sale. Because, yes, we will be selling it pretty shortly. Pretty short, short, shortly. There we go. So, as you can see, we've done some uh, wire wheel brushing and sanding and de-rusting. And now we will just paint it with this um, pretty alright uh, hot paint. 
the black, of course. So let's get right into it. Bring it back when I've painted it. Okie dokie. So here you have the fully painted part of the exhaust. Over in the room next door, right here, you have this little pipe that has also been painted. And as I just found out, uh, the muffler on this bike is made out of some carbon fiber stuff, so it doesn't need to be painted, because so, it doesn't rust. Meaning that my job here is done. And with that, I will probably wish you goodbye, because we don't really have that much more to do today. So, remember to leave a comment, like, subscribe, and as always, keep on riding. Goodbye.